elastic potential energy. The elastic potential energy is the energy that results from an object being stretched or compressed and is given by one half K, which is elastic constant, times the square of X. X is the stretch or the compression we do to the object. Let's do an example. Let's say I have a spring. This spring is hanging to the ceiling and I add a mass. I attach the mass to this spring. Let's say I stretch it 10 centimeter. X from here to here is 10 centimeter. And let's give the elastic constant K. K, let's say, is 1 newton per centimeter. K is elastic constant is how much force needed to stretch an object. This is what that means. And is measured in newtons per meters. Or sometimes you will see it in newtons per centimeter. So let's find the potential energy. It will be one half times K, which is one newton this is one new times one newton per centimeter times x which is 10 centimeter squared in this case we need to convert centimeter in one centimeter will be 10 to negative 2 meter so we convert the centimeter to meter to find the potential energy in joules be one half times one newton per 10 to negative two meters because we replaced one centimeter two meters will be 10 to negative two meters the same thing uh, between parentheses will be 10 times 10 to negative two meter everything squared in this case we have 10 times 10 to negative two will be 10 to negative one squared will be 10 to negative 2 over 10 to negative 2 will be just 1. In this case, we will have just 1 half joules or 0 0.5 uh, joules or newton meter. 0 0.5 newton meter. So this is how we found the elastic potential energy. We look the the stretch or the compression and then we use this definition which is one half times elastic constant times the square of the distance that was stretched. In this case is this x. Now let's say if we apply force and we compressed this spring with the same amount 10 centimeter. We keep the same spring and then we compress it. Let's say this is the setting. The same spring, and we compress the spring. Let's say we compress it with the same amount. This x. Now, when it's compressed, x in this case will be negative 10 centimeters. Remember, the spring has the same elastic constant K, is the characteristic of spring, it will be 1 newton per centimeter. Now, if we compress the spring, we get, in this case, negative 10 centimeter. Now, what would be the potential energy? Elastic, the same thing, it will be 1 half K times X squared. Remember, X, in this case, is compressed with the same amount we stretched before. In this case, x is negative, but remember the potential energy will be the same because we have x squared. If we stretch or we compress with the same amount, we are going to have the same elastic potential energy. So in this case, it will be one half k, okay, which is one newton. Newton per centimeter, one centimeter is 10 to negative two meter. 
and x will be negative 10 centimeter times 10 to negative 2. Remember, we convert centimeter to meters. But I'm one centimeter is 10 to negative 2 meter, and everything is squared because we have x squared. This has to be squared. So in this case, the square of negative number is positive. 0 0.5 joules. So the same thing. This is what I mean. If we compress or we stretch with the same amount, we receive the same elastic potential energy. Thank you.